good. We actually met for uh, your last film. Oh, great. Yes. <laughs> just a couple months ago. <laughs> yes, just a couple months ago. Great. So how excited are you for the first ever screening of Sing at the Toronto International Film Festival? Well, I'm, uh, I'm actually surprisingly calm for me, but inside I'm, I'm, I'm very, very excited. We love this film so much, and uh, and and I don't. I just we just want it to share it with people after a five-year journey. Now it is so different from other animated films. Tell us how it is different. You wanna... Well, this one was really fun because we had a huge cast of really talented singers and actors who um, who, who got to. Do all of their their um, singing and and uh, now we've got them dancing. It was just an amazing um, enterprise for us. And and I also think that when you have a film that has 65 songs in it, obviously not the full songs, that the production of the music is almost the equivalent of the production of a small film. Uh, and we've got music. It dates all the way back to the 1940s with Seth MacFarlane as as character who sings standards to you know Reese Witherspoon singing um, you know a song that you you know heard you know two years ago to Taron Egerton. I mean, every one of these cast members, as Janet said, are doing their own singing, and um, it's quite extraordinary. Do you, each of you have a personal favorite in terms of songs? I know. There's, there's a number of them for me. I mean, it, there are huge emotional moments in the movie where the songs bring out um, just the, 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 the culmination of everything you want to feel about the characters and their journeys. And then the end, the act three finales for everyone are so joyful and they've achieved so much that I, I love them all. I think that the one thing, because it's hard to single any of them out, as Janet said, but I think probably the, the moment that we probably all collectively, Garth, Janet, myself, all felt the, the greatest thrill was when Stevie Wonder agreed to be part of this movie and uh, and remarkably so um, his imprint is in this film in a couple of different major plate points along the way tell us you know at its core what this film is about well the, <laughs> you know it, the story is about Buster Moon who owns a theater he's a koala living in a world that is just like ours there people go to work and drive cars but it's all populated by animals, and his theater has hit hard times. And he's desperately trying to figure out how to save the theater. And his solution is the realization that everybody loves a music competition. I'll do one that's local and live. Because all he wants to do as a theater owner is convey the same sense of joy that he experienced as a boy when his father took him into that theater for the first time. So the movie ends up following the stories of the five finalists and Buster. But I do think, what Janet says, I think that at the core of it, it is about producing. Garth will probably say it's about creating and directing. But that notion of when you start with absolutely nothing, which is what a producer does and what a writer-director does is a blank sheet of paper, and you envision something and you have to gather up people's support and how you talk about it you're talking about it as if it's real and as and as you communicate what your vision is it does become real for people and you sweep them up in your enthusiasm and passion and that's you know for us it's it, it's an homage to that process and obviously you went through that process yourself yes. on the film. And I don't know, what do you love about the movie? Well, well you know, what 
about the, I'll say this about the movie process. When we watch the, a, a, a designer like Eric Guillaume, who's done so many of our character designs, when, the privilege of having him come and show you a new design, having an animator share with you a moment from the film that he and his team have, have really just focused on to create the most nuance of mo you know of moments when you see creativity emerge in front of you on every film that is just absolutely thrilling and, and this might not <clears throat> the, the the cumulative talent of the people shows in a way that I've never seen before it's, um, it was just an extraordinary journey for every one, hundreds of people who worked on it, and that love comes across on the screen in every moment. It's really an, a, an extraordinary thing. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. Enjoy. Thank you. Take care.